Hey, good morning, family. It is just me and the cats up at nearly 6 a.m. Joe is asleep. He was up until about 2 o'clock in the morning last night editing Keto on the Couch. So we're going to let him rest a little bit more, and I'm going to head out, get my steps in, and see the sunrise. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things, like recipe videos, and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on a couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Scooch over a touch, man. Sorry. We're not centered. Sorry. Oh, wait, now we're really not centered. Oh, oh. There oh, we go. Oh. There we go. We're in I it now. feel like we are so far behind in the day, and it's only 9 o'clock. I, I, I know. I think you need to like just calm down I a little bit. I can't calm down. We, we sat in the hot tub last night and made a list. Of like things to do. Of things to do this week. And it's three pages long. And like one and a half of the pages is today. Right. Like you've still got to preview Keto on the Couch video. I do. Which is premiering in like an hour. No, so like no, if there's a panic. problem, we're in trouble. Where were you this morning? Well, I got all my steps in. Okay. And then um, somebody that we go to church with happens to live in the neighborhood. Uh-huh. And so we passed. He was, you know, walking his dog. And so we stopped and chatted. Right. Because he'll be moving to Tennessee soon and was talking about how... Um, he, I want to go with him, by the he way. He bought a house, a beautiful home, and it's right in front of that road where they have the longest yard sale. Okay. Every year. And so he participated in it with his family. Oh, wow. And so he was sharing about like all of the fun stuff that he brought along and sold and all the cool people from different states that he met. Wow. Yeah, I woke up. I'm like, it's time to get going. And I'm like, where's Rachel? Rachel? Rachel's chatting. So here's some of the things that we need to do today. I still okay. need to edit the Keto Box video. Yes. I need to edit a camping video because when we got sick, I didn't get a chance to edit stuff. Because, like, I don't know. I just didn't. So we need we haven't had a new camping video in a couple of weeks. It's time. Um, we need to go outside and clean the baby chicken little run. Yeah, it's ready. And I want to introduce him to the other chickens. So I think we let should see him. take them while, while I'm cleaning that up. Let's take them out and let them run around in the grass and see the other chickens through the fence thing. We're supposed to go to Skechers because my officiating shoes have a giant Dissolved. hole in it. There's a Dissolved. hole in it, in, yeah. in the front, like There's coming almost all the way through. There's a hole in my bucket. So um, here's what we're going to do in a minute. Uh, I made Maria's bread. Now, it does look a little weird. It does look a little weird. Because you can see up here, see this little piece right here? This little hole here? Yeah. I put it in the, other, in the upper oven. Uh-huh. And it rose so much that it hit the ceiling. And so wow. when I went to pull it out, it was stuck to the ceiling, so it deflated. We're still going to use this. You went old school on this. This is this the original recipe. This is the recipe. original recipe. There's no allulose. It's literally egg whites, egg white powder, and um, cream of tartar. Ooh, and then a little school. bit of Redmond's Real Salt. There's a link for that down below. Uh, so it did deflate a little bit, but it's still going to be good. Oh, yeah. And we're going to take Maria's mouth. challenge. As soon as we're done with this little intro thing, we're I'm going. It? We're going to eat this entire loaf while you are previewing keto on the couch. But we're going to eat it as French toast. Okay, my French day toast just got better. Yeah, so we're going to eat an entire loaf of Maria's bread. Right now, I personally would not eat an entire loaf if you're adding a quarter of a cup of allulose because. No. That could be a lot of allulose, especially if you're going to have any other kind of treat during the day. Go old school. So go old school. Yeah. Or Marie even told us to try it with just a little bit of allulose. The allulose is what helps you with a better crust. I don't really care about crust. I really am excited about French toast because French toast 
was always my jam. Well, I'm excited about getting back to the original recipe, yep. where it all started, instead of adding a bunch of stuff to it and then undoing what I'm trying to accomplish. Yeah. Now, we actually made this, and I'm gonna make another one today, but I'm almost out of protein powder, so I'm waiting for the egg white protein powder to be delivered. Amazon, Amazon is so cool now. Amazon actually has a thing, at least here by us, where you can order it and they'll deliver it within a couple hours. We sat last night going, I need this, this, and this at 4.40 in the afternoon and it gave me a delivery window. We will deliver this between five o'clock and nine o'clock tonight. I heard a, a, a comedian that was joking about how we're pretty soon we'll be thinking of something and, and then it'll just drop shipping. Knock, it. knock, knock, it's yeah. at the door. So yeah, so I'm gonna make another batch. The other thing, it's sitting in there. I made Maria's egg pudding because I, I made it once before and it was like right after we were sick and I was like, ew, this is disgusting. I just did not like it. It had that really bad sulfur smell and it, it had a bad taste. And when we were in Omaha, Maria said this, do not use pre hard boiled eggs because Isn't they have like a vinegar taste. She's like, you've got to make it with hard boiled eggs. So we're gonna be trying that with today. With the cheap eggs. And then we're going to also be doing, make sure you're staying tuned through to the entire video because we've got an awesome recipe for you guys today that I'm really excited about. We're actually gonna kind of kick back and probably not have our sub today. We might, I don't know, but we've got a really good recipe that we're gonna eat for lunch. And then, yeah, oh, I've got to go to Home Depot. I've got to return stuff because I rescreened everything. Here he's Just getting back in that mode. Big whole thing. And I'm going to put this to the side. I've got another chore for you today. This is more important than, anything. than cleaning the house. Oh, wow. It's more important than doing the laundry. Uh -huh. It's more important than vacuuming. But it does entail cleaning and helping me organize. Okay. Because my plan is, as soon as I can finish the front room, as the winter rolls around, football season's over, this kitchen, we're gonna redo this kitchen. Wow. Right? But we're gonna start right now because I have no cabinet space and it, I'm getting tired of it. So, I ordered Had these it. on Amazon last night. Oh, how fun. And you got this, and this is how we buy all of our spices. Yeah. I buy them all like this. Save I money. don't like buying the little things. So, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go through our cabinet and find all the big ones like this. The big guys. Not the Redmond one, because I go through that much Redmond right. one. Right. Okay, but like the cinnamon and the rosemary and all that and stuff. move them over? Move them over, and then look at this. It came with labels, and it came with two kinds of labels. A label to what? go down the side and the label for the top. And then we can take these, the things that we're gonna refill with, and go stick them in the pantry in the back, like in one of the hallway closets. Yeah. And that should free up some room in our cabinet. How nice. Okay, so I'm adding on to your work today. Also, I don't mind. also, oh my gosh, we've got a product review coming that we're gonna film today. So yeah. again, make sure you hit that bell button because- Highly anticipated in this house. Oh, oh. I, I, this, this one, I'm excited to do this product. Me review. too. What about you? Are oh, you excited I'm, for I'm it? I'm totally excited. I was so excited that I purchased this product at the store and didn't even, like, I didn't even I save know. the receipt. Now I, like, I gotta go back to Home Depot and then I gotta Number go to four, the lady. store and say, like, I need the price How on this How much thing. is this? Because my wife was so excited. She just like, Because you're gonna, you can buy this product in Walmart and Target and we're really excited about it. And I'll give you a hint. It involves chocolate. It does involve chocolate. Yeah. Are you ready to get started? Yes. I'm gonna go make French toast. You start previewing keto on the couch. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at that. What do you have there? Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> she said eat the whole thing. The whole thing. Oh, this looks really It does. Good. Okay, so we made French toast. As per Maria's instructions, well, she didn't tell me how to make French toast. She just said- You've done that before. The entire loaf, we didn't put any allulose in this. And uh, I just used uh, eggs and a little bit of the Maple Hill Zero Sugar Milk. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna bother weighing it out. We'll just kind of like divide it up. Um, 
I'm curious, does how does taste... everybody like their French toast? Like, when you had French toast, did you like it soggy or did you like it crispy? No, I like it crispy. See, I always liked it kind of soggy. I, I don't know if this is... Am I is... getting it soggy? It doesn't look soggy. No, it's, it's like kind of in the middle. So here we go. That seems like a reasonable serving. I have an end here. Well, I but want to... I'm not an end person. I, want... I wasn't an end person when I ate bread. I'm an end person. I would like to to see what it tastes before you put any syrup or anything on it because this has no sweetener. No sweetener at all. All right. All right. It tastes so good. Okay. So, yeah, let me taste it before we put anything on this. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe I'm eating a plate of bread right now. No, it doesn't soak. I mean, unless maybe if you soak and soak and soak and soak, but the middle is kind of like not soaked up the way traditional yeah. bread would be. We'd have to try it longer. Wow, that's good. Okay, so we have two syrups. We have the Walden Farms, which is nothing but chemicals. Zero, 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 zero. It's like there's nothing in that bottle at all. Got this in the keto box. Okay. So um, it's pretty much all allulose. Anthony and I really liked it in that keto box video. Link for that right up here. So this is... In a tablespoon, 10 calories, zero fat, it is zero protein, it is 14 total carbohydrates, but almost all of that is allulose. allulose. So there is 7.6 grams of allulose, and uh, it comes out to be point, uh, is it, no, I'm sorry, 12 grams of allulose. It's, and then you have some fiber. So if you take out the fiber, which I would not recommend, it's 0.55 net carbs. If you don't take out the fiber, it's about two net carbs if you don't if you do deduct the allulose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm curious. I'm gonna put a little bit of this one on. And see if it tastes and see which one tastes and better. Give you one. Just a little bit. Cause I'm That's, good. I'm actually really enjoying just having the bread. I'm just curious, like the difference in the taste between the two of them. I am not measuring it out. The Walden Farms is very thick, so you don't even want any Walden Farms. You want one with a little bit to yeah, taste just a the dab difference. It. That's good. Okay. All right. So this is the Walden Farms first. Like I feel like an animal. I, I just want to eat with my hands. I am. <laughs> the Walden Farms may be a big bottle of chemicals, but they got the flavor right on the maple syrup. They do. They're, some of their dressings though, and their peanut yeah. butter is not even edible. Uh, uh -uh. The, their wish I was peanut butter was like the most disgusting thing I've ever tried. Okay. The, that goodies is so good Let's though. try the goodies. That is very like dark and rich. It is rich. really, really good. Wow. I mean, she nailed it. I'll put a link for it. You can get it on Amazon. I've ordered some, it's like on back order and won't be here till like the middle of September. So what are we looking at as far as like calories and- I wrote it up. Is it crazy? No. Oh my gosh, I'm out of drink. You eat the whole thing. 870 calories. That's it? For a loaf of bread? But it's 10 grams of fat. Mm-hmm. 152 grams of protein. So like, Here's your protein for, for the, the day. day. And again, I don't care if, if you bring in your fat, like this without the syrup, here's a good PSMF day, right? For real. Just like that. No syrup though. No syrup. So 151 grams of protein. And now chronometer is saying this is 7.4 total carbs. But here's the thing, it's eggs, egg whites and egg white protein. So chronometer is putting the carbs from the eggs in there. Hello, I would rather them tell me the whole story. That's why we love chronometer. I mean, I generally don't count the eggs, don't, don't care even about the eggs count carbs. Egg carbs. But so but it's saying it's 7.4 total carbs. Yeah. But again, we didn't put anything in here to have carbs other than the eggs cuz it's egg white protein, eggs, a touch of milk which is zero carb. You know. It tastes like french toast. And cinnamon, but I did a teaspoon of cinnamon. I am so impressed with this. I don't think you need the I don't know allulose. if I can eat the whole thing. Now we have done it both. Mm -hmm. We have done it with the allulose and we've done it without it. Especially if you're going to put a little butter on it or something. You, I don't think you even need the allulose. Well, here's what I'm going to say. For regular bread, 
I got some more protein powder coming. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make them one, but we're gonna do it with allulose the way Maria told me to do it, which was instead of a quarter of a cup, do it with just a tablespoon. Or was it a teaspoon? I don't know. I'll go back and look at that video well, look, where I we interviewed say, Maria. Link I want right to say it here. was a tablespoon, but make sure. Okay, so we're going to go back and put a tablespoon, which is a third of a quarter of a cup. Okay? So a tablespoon has, I I, I want to say that that becomes like 10 to 12 total carbs of allulose for the whole batch. Let's try a difference. Because we when we made it, was we actually did have this before. Not the, the French toast, but the bread. Mm -hmm. We did it with allulose. We started doing a protein sparing modified fast week. Then we got sick. And everything was out there. And the so since we only got two days of that before we got sick, we just scrapped those videos. So let's make another loaf with the allulose and then we can compare it before okay. we say like, yeah, without the allulose. But it's pretty good without right. the allulose. Right now, while I'm sitting here enjoying it, I'm truly enjoying it. It's good. Oh, look at you. I am working on I'm looking for chili powder. Th there's like 368 stickers. Jeez. There, I see it right in the oh, middle. Oh, there it is. So how many have you done? Um, That would be, this is my third one. Okay. So we're not going to brag on me too hard too fast. But you're doing something that I don't want to do that really needs to be done. You're so welcome. Because you have to clean it out in between. Because you don't want to do cinnamon and then do like jalapeno powder. So I went to a Home Depot. Okay. I returned our screen door. Thanks for that. It is what? 240. I feel like I've got nothing done but everything done. Does that make sense? I feel like we've been busy and also like there's still stuff to catch up on. We're being serenaded by Anthony right now who's practicing keys. Uh, yeah. So I got this stuff to spray to get all of the iron off. Thank I actually you. have one bottle, but just in case it wasn't enough, I got a second bottle. Stuff's expensive. Well, and if it doesn't work, we'll just paint the whole fence orange. And then I got a new sprinkler timer, which I'm not looking forward to this. I really wanted like a Wi-Fi one, but that means like redoing our entire sprinkler system, which kind of needs to be done, but I don't want to do it now. So well, we have no time today. We're just going to put this timer on there so that we can get the sprinklers to keep running because I never cared about it before, but now that we've put grass in the back. Well, you've invested I don't want to waste $500 on new sod and then not water it. Well, and for the, for the minute, it looks really pretty. And yep. you're like, I don't want the pretty to go away. So do you want to eat right now or do you want to go do the chickens? Chickens. You want to do the chickens? Always chickens. You want to do chickens, the chickens is the answer. Okay, so next up on the list is to use this stuff. It's called Aqua Rust and try to get all the fences clean because I did go and get like a sprinkler rust remover. It's like a piece that you hook up to your sprinkler line for your well and it puts this chemical into the water as the system is watering and it's supposed to prevent the rust, but I'm not gonna really know if it prevents the rust till I get all that stuff off of the fence and the shed back there and down the front and the sidewalk. So we're gonna go ahead and try this stuff. So it is definitely working. You can actually see it just disappearing as I spray it. So uh, we're gonna leave this on here and then you're supposed to hose it off, but some of this is really bad. So I'm gonna go around and do the rest of the house and then come back and hose it all off. So I'm pretty impressed. I walked around and did the whole house. By the time I got back, this fence was completely clear and I didn't have to hose it off, but I did hose it off anyway. Well, hello. We are gonna go outside. It's like a little playground for yeah. babies that we've kind of created. This is just enough green patch Tab can't get in here. Ah, uh, yes, she can. Tab figured out how to walk around the back. Did she really? Yeah. Well, I mean, you have a blocked off. I have a blocked off so they can't get out. But it's but interesting. Look at, look at the way they're all very curious. Now, of course, if we let them through, there's going to be some fighting. They said there'll probably be some fighting no matter what when you first introduce them. That's why we're waiting for them to be bigger. And it's I'm actually really excited that Abigail has a chance to meet them because she's gotten she's really broody. broody. And I'm hoping that just interaction with baby chickens will help her. Yeah. So when we started our backyard flock, we had seven chickens. Yep. And one of them turned out to be a rooster. Yep. And then, um, and then we lost two. We lost Zilla, and then we were so brokenhearted while we were sick. Hannah finally succumbed to her injuries, and she looked like she was doing great. But you know that is what a prey animal will do. It's got to look like everything is fine because they're afraid of getting picked off. So she passed away, and then we have the four egg laying girls, and now we have three more chickens. So we're back to seven. It's kind of amazing. Yeah. Now. Zilla, like I said, she's broody. No, but not she's, Zilla, Abigail. Oh, Abigail is broody. But she's not biting. 
She just wants no. to sit on the eggs and she even wants if, to sleep in there. Well, even if somebody else is laying, she, she lays with them. Yeah. So if any of our fellow subscribers, chicken lovers, can help us to get her to not be broody anymore. Because I want her to be out. The only time she'll come out is when we feed eggs. Which we did get a lot of comments about the eggs. So why are we, the eggs are actually very healthy for them, right? Very, very healthy. Actually, like high in protein. Very high in protein. If you look calcium at calcium in the shells, homesteaders that are starting a backyard flock will tell you that you know one of their first foods um, when you're above their chick feed is to have, scramble some eggs for them because. Think about what they actually like in the wild. You don't see a bunch of chickens like running, you know, toward a cornfield, right? Like they really like bugs. They like worms. They'll eat anything, but they primarily but they like want meat. Roaches. I mean, they just love, love meat. And so eggs, that's meat. So they really enjoy it. And so do even the little babies. We give them bugs now and, and they love it too. I like giving them a cockroach and then watching them fight over the one cockroach. Which they totally will. So while Rachel introduces the babies to the older chickens, I'm going to go ahead and clean this out. We basically have a tarp to hold all of the shavings in and I'm just going to... Uh, snip all the wire ties, dump all the shavings, and then give them some fresh stuff. So Anthony's favorite out of the new ones is, I think it's Lois. Lois, the one that's like kind of chipmunk colored right behind me. Well, what he likes is the mohawk. Yeah. Because he just thinks it's really cool. It's like it's like He's his a hair. hair guy. Right? Of course. He just wants that steampunk thing on her. Yeah. So are you going to stay out here with the chickens for a while? Is that an option? Because I would love it if that was an option. You can definitely sit here with the chickens. I will go start making our recipe video. Yay! Or not the recipe video, but dinner. Right. Which is going to be a recipe within this vlog. In the vlog. Yeah. So There's I'll start a recipe. making that. It takes like 30 minutes for it to cook. So you can play out here for a little while. Look at them digging the stuff up already. They're digging more than the other ones do. We're going to have to be careful. Yeah. Uh-oh, here comes another one. So we are plugging along. It is 445 right now. I'm going to go take a quick shower since I've been messing around with the chickens and chicken coops and uh, don't really want to be cooking with all that. So I'm going to go take a quick shower. Then I'm going to get going on our dinner and show you guys what we're going to be making tonight. Okay, I'm all showered off and ready to make this recipe. So this recipe is coming to us from Zoe, who is one of our subscribers. And she messaged us and said, hey, I thought you might like this since you're eating so many jalapeno poppers. And what it is, is a recipe she came up with and it is a cream cheese stuffed chicken breast that's got a bunch of spices in it and then it's wrapped in bacon. So we're gonna go ahead and make it, but we are gonna make a few changes. Number one, because it's us and we like to add spices and different things like that to recipes. But also this is stemming from our obsession with, you know, having jalapeno poppers. I mean, no kidding. We are like obsessed with them right now. We ate them like every day for like three weeks. Then we took a four day break. Then we ate them again for another four or five days in a row. So we're trying to take a break from jalapeno poppers. So we're gonna go ahead and try this, but we're gonna add jalapenos. So here's what we're gonna need. First thing we're gonna need is cream cheese. Now, one thing I wanted to mention about cream cheese, I've recently learned as going to the grocery store, I found out not all cream cheese is the same. So we're sticking with Philadelphia. Now it says less than one car per serving, but I always say round up. And the reason I'm saying I like this is when you go to the store, you're gonna see a lot of them, especially some of the store brands, they're adding stuff to it. They're adding like whey protein concentrate and things like that. So I like the fact that this is just pasteurized milk and cream, salt, and then a carabine gum and cheese culture. Some of them have several different kinds of gums and emulsifiers and like whey protein. So I'm telling you, spend a little bit more money and get this one. We're gonna need some onion powder, some paprika, some garlic, some pepper, Redmond sea salt, of course. We need some kind of a Parmesan cheese. This is a three cheese blend. I like the grated, it's gonna give it a better taste. Then of course, we need some chicken breast. We need some bacon. And then last ingredient, we need a jalapeno. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean all of this area off and then we're gonna get going. Okay, we're gonna start with just one jalapeno popper and we're gonna remove the seeds and then we're gonna dice it up. So I just cut it in half and then I'm gonna take this over to the sink, scoop out all the seeds. Okay, you might be asking, why do we take out the seeds? It's because for us, we like jalapenos for the flavor, not for the heat. 
Now, if you want some heat, you can leave a few seeds in there, which sometimes we do. One, occasionally, you'll get, you know, one or two of them showing up, like they get stuck to the knife. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and finely chop up this jalapeno so it gets all mixed in with the cream cheese. Okay, we're going to put that to the side. We're going to grab a bowl. And then in our bowl, we're going to put an entire block of softened cream cheese. You definitely want to have it softened. Uh, you can either stick it in the microwave or you can just leave it on the counter, which is usually what I do. Uh, but it's going to make it much easier to mix. Now to that, we're going to add a half a teaspoon of each one of our spices. So we got a half a teaspoon of paprika, which doesn't fit in the frame, so it's paprika. A half a teaspoon of onion powder. Now when it comes to spices, you can definitely modify the amount if you want. You could put more or less. When it comes to spices, I'm kind of like Zoe in that I tend to be like not measuring when it's just for me, but I measured all these out and I've made the recipe and it tastes really good this way. This is a half a teaspoon of granulated garlic. We're gonna go with about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of Redmond Real Salt. So this is the one that I use when it comes to recipes. It's the fine one. Uh, I use the kosher salt on all of my meats when I'm doing rubs and also just seasoning my food. And then we're gonna do about a quarter to a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And then we're gonna do about a quarter of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And again, I'm using this three cheese blend. To this mixture, we're gonna go ahead and put our jalapenos in. And we're gonna go ahead and mix this all up. And okay, now we're gonna put this to the side and we're gonna grab our chicken breasts. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is take these chicken breasts, which we got from BJ's, they are pretty big chicken breasts. Uh, I like using the entire chicken breast. Zoe actually cuts them in half and then gets eight instead of four. We're gonna just make four really large ones, but first thing we're gonna do is trim them up, get all this extra fat and cartilage and things like that off of it. Okay, so now we've got our chicken breasts all trimmed up. We are going to leave everything all intact. We're gonna use the entire piece. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it upside down and we are going to basically in this big part, take you know the knife and slice a nice big pocket in there. We're gonna do that with each one of them. Make sure you don't slice all the way through because then the cream cheese is gonna start leaking out. Now, if you have a big tenderloin like this, you could even put a little bit down in that area as well. Next thing we're gonna do is take each chicken breast and stuff it with our cream cheese mixture. And again, we're gonna use the entire thing. So best thing to do is see how you go. Like I have a nice spoonful in there. If you have a hole on the other side, you can put a little bit in there. We're actually gonna put a little bit in that part right there. And cause we're gonna roll this and then wrap it. Okay, next we're gonna take a little bit more of this grated Parmesan cheese and just sprinkle it on top of the cream cheese, just a little bit in each one. And that's gonna help the cream cheese to not like ooze out during the cooking process. Then we're gonna take our bacon and I like really thick cut bacon. So this is the one we use if we're not using our own at home. It's the Smithfield thick cut cherry wood bacon. And I get this at BJ's. Now we're gonna take each chicken breast, we're gonna to try to roll it like this to stuff all of the cream cheese in there. And then starting at one end, we're gonna wrap it with bacon. And I'm gonna use two to three slices per chicken breast. Now, one thing I did wanna mention, when you put this in the air fryer or in your oven or casserole dish, however you're gonna make it, Make sure you have this cut that you have all the cream cheese stuffed in. That's going to be up on top. So when it oozes down, it's going to come across the chicken breast instead of out the bottom. So I don't know about y'all, but I like my bacon crispy. Let me know down in the comment section. How do you like your bacon? Do you like it undercooked? Do you like it just perfect? Do you like it a little crispy? Do you like it burnt? Some people really like it burnt. I like it just on the edge of crispy. I don't want soggy bacon at all. So my air fryer, even though I have the really big one, these are giant chicken breasts. We're gonna go ahead and uh, just cook two at a time. And I'm gonna put them in the air fryer 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. And I'm gonna come back and check it. Obviously you wanna get the chicken to 165 degrees and I wanna get the bacon crispy. Now, if you're cooking it in a regular oven, 350 degrees for about 30 minutes, uh, and then maybe stick it under the broiler for a minute if you want to get the bacon even more crispy. But we're going to go ahead and get the first batch started 
and then I'm gonna start cleaning up. Okay, Rachel, the chicken breasts are in the air fryer. Uh, why don't we put the babies away? It's gonna take about 25 minutes and you take a shower. By the time you're to take a shower, we should be able to eat and then we still have to do that review video. Okay, first I'm gonna finish my call with your mother. What are you doing? I just unplugged your uh, vacuum. Oh man, what happened? <laughs> I, uh, I thought I would just vacuum really quick. I put the chickens away. I called your mother. We've been doing a lot. Okay, well, you don't have time to vacuum. We're gonna, the vacuum is going to have to wait till tomorrow because the dinner is in the oven. I made the stuffed chicken breast. Okay. You've got like 10 or 15 minutes. I gotta take a shower because I am disgusting. Yeah, I took a shower before I cooked because I figured like playing in the coop, you definitely didn't want me to be making no. dinner with like chicken coop hands. Pro tip, don't ch clean the chicken coop and then cook dinner. Are you ready to eat? I mean, you're sitting here cleaning. I'm, I'm just, hungry. I just want to wipe down the counter just a little bit. <laughs> okay, well, let's go eat before everything gets cold and then you can come back amazing. and wipe the counters down. Okay, here we go. This looks amazing. Again, recipe is courtesy of Zoe. This is a Thank cream you. cheese jalapeno stuffed chicken breast wrapped in bacon. Uh, why is your hair wet? I thought you were gonna be all ready to go so we can go do our like review video. Well, there's different levels of ready. Okay. Right now, I'm 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 nearly ready. Okay. Okay, that is makeup, clothes. Okay. But my hair is still wet. Okay. Then you have very nearly ready, and that is clothes and makeup, and hair is dried but not fixed. Then you have totally ready, and that is hair is done, makeup is done, my clothes are on, and then there's let's go mode, and that is I'm sitting next to you. All I hear is wah, 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 wah. I don't get it. Yeah. Like, I, you live when it. When you're ready, you're ready, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so again, I'm going to grab my phone so I can tell you. I quickly threw this in a chronometer, so it's not exact. So I'm dividing the entire recipe into four servings because we had four giant chicken breasts and I didn't cut it in half. Okay, so this is one serving. It's really two servings, but we're gonna say it's one serving. One serving. Okay, 996 calories. It's 46.9 grams of fat. Okay. And again, we're not calorie counters. No. It's 131 grams of protein. Wow, so people are like, how do I get my protein in? With chicken breast, wrapping it in this three to four slices of bacon. is delicious. And then it's only five total carbs. Total? Total carbs. Wow. So I'm interested to see what the middle looks like. Yeah, I wanna go right into the middle. Well, of course you wanna go into the middle. I'm actually gonna have to no, cut I in mean, the middle and usually then- Usually, I would start on the ends. <gasps> Oh, wow. Does that look lovely? Here, I'll grab a... Ooh, look at all the cream cheese like oozing out. That is some kind of wonderful. Are right you in ready? There. Yes. Why am I cutting with the wrong hand? I don't know. Because you're sitting next to me. Dink it. Ooh, that's a big one. Dink. Mmm. Oh, my God. Mmm. The cream cheese is like soaked into the chicken. It is like cheesy all the way through. Mm -hmm. No then, dry chicken. Super moist. Sorry, kids. Wow. This is like, wow. Wow. <laughs> For real. Oh, good. Mm. I like that you have the bacon nice and crunchy. Did you put it in the air fryer? Air fryer. So it I'd off? already asked, like, how do you like your bacon? I know you like your bacon crunchy. Crispy. Uh, so if you want to do it in the oven, you can, but you're probably going to have to put it under a broiler if you want to get that crispy, crispy bacon. Wow, or that's cook good. it a little bit longer, but you don't want to cook and, like, overcook the chicken. So you got to find the right temperature. That is insane. And again, we put it in 350 degrees for 25 minutes. I ended up needing to put it in for about five more minutes just to get that bacon crispy, but Ugh. it came out perfect. Well, what's nice is as the stuff oozes out, it becomes like a sauce. Right. So you're like dipping your chicken back in it. Mm -hmm. That's pretty awesome. I'm having one of these creamy root beer zevias. Um, we're gonna eat, then we gotta go do a video. Mango Relight. I'm, oh, that's cool. I'm super proud of ourselves mm -hmm. because the only thing that we have not accomplished on our entire list. Get shoes. Is well, okay. So two things: we didn't right. go to Skechers to get the shoes. Yeah. And I have not finished editing a camping video, but it will be done by tomorrow. Well, that's good because people are asking, like, is this still a channel? Yeah. So, yeah. but other than that, we got everything else done. 
Plus, I got you doing the spices. So that was like an extra thing. Did that, that help? That's future help. That's that future that was help. not really on our list. It wasn't on the list. So, um, and I got extra baby chicken time, and that's always worth the investment. Yeah. Are you ready for this one? Well, I'm totally ready. Let's go because, yeah, you can tell because the hair is done, the makeup, the outfit's on, and I'm sitting next to you. That's totally ready. Let's go. But are you ready to do this review? Yes and no. I'm a little bit nervous about this one because we're going to be delving back into a real problem treat for me from the past. Well, that may be the angriest I have ever seen you. Like, usually I'm the angry one. I was very angry in that video. It will be coming out soon. It's a product review. Honestly. We've got to, uh, to bleep some things. Honestly, here's that angry. what I'm thinking. Like, we have a bunch of videos in the tank. We have still Kim Howerton, and we have Ask Nurse Cindy, and we have Dr. Fit and Fabulous, and we have a couple of product reviews from Aldi because they've had some really cool products. Yeah, they have. I feel like this video for the product review that we just made needs to go all the way to the top of the list and go out tomorrow. Because I feel like somebody's gonna go buy it. I, yeah. Right? I, I want Don't, zero do you, people purchasing do you, do you think we should release that video tomorrow? I'm completely fine with it. If you will bleep it. Bleep stuff. I don't think I need to bleep it. Yes. Like YouTube is not going to yell at me for that. I will yell at you at that. You have okay. to live with me. So that means that this video is going to come out after that video. Yeah. So if you haven't seen the video we're talking about, go check it out right over here. And we apologize for our intensity. For our intensity. Yeah. I've got something that you're really going to like though. Is it a treat that is actually good? <laughs> yes, it is. Does it smell farty? Because it kind of smelled farty last night. So, this is Maria Emmerich's egg pudding. Does it smell like anything but chocolate? Uh, I'm actually going to turn on this camera just so that people can see what it looks like wow. up close. And, uh, yeah. It's like so, pudding. we made this following... Her recipe exactly. Her, her we went to the beginning. Yeah. Her recipe. I'm gonna leave a link for her recipe down below. If I can find her video, I'll put it up here. But I don't know if it I can had find a sulfur her video. Smell last night. When we made it, we were like, oh, that smell it reminded it me stanky. of science projects. It actually reminded me of our well water. It reminded it smells, me of it well water. Like sulfur. Yeah. Sulfur. So, uh, are you ready? Yes. I'm just. I'm still amazed it doesn't stink. Dink. Dink. First time ever. Wow. Wow. You know okay, what? Okay, I could get used to this. Do you know what this tastes like? The snack cups mm -hmm. that you would get. Like the snack cup pudding. Uh, what I'm impressed with is the texture. The texture is wonderful. Y'all weren't wrong about this. This is amazing. People have been saying, why are you not eating this? Well, because when we got sick, a mm. couple days... After we started recuperating, I tried to make it, but I used the hard-boiled eggs that you buy, like, pre-done. And we always get them in Sam's Club for, like, when we're on the road and stuff. Uh -huh. And I had some left that we had bought prior to being sick. And wow. so I'm like, well, these are going to expire in, like, three weeks. Let me go ahead and use them. And it was disgusting. Like, I didn't even let Rachel have a I taste of it. I didn't even try it. it. I literally took one taste and was like, this is disgusting, and I threw it out. And then when we were in Omaha, we were talking to Maria Emmerich, and she said, do not use those eggs to make my pudding. It's got like a vinegar taste to it. It must have something to do with the way they preserve them. Yeah. And this is amazing. This now, tastes awesome. I will say this. The cinnamon definitely comes through. It really does. I would probably cut it in half. If you want it to be more chocolate in the forefront than cinnamon, yeah. I would I would. I, I would probably back. cut it in half. But I'm not. Unless, of course, you can't have cinnamon, then just cut it out. But I'm not mad at this thing. I am not mad. Okay. Right? I don't have the exact macros. I'll put them down below. But I did figure them out yesterday when I made it. What are we looking at And here? according to her thing, it was like if you ate, uh, it, she had it cut into five servings. I cut it down into four. Okay. It's right around 300, 350 calories for the whole thing. For this thing? For this whole cup. And how many, like, how many carbs is in this? I, I want to I don't remember exactly. I want to say it was like 10 to 12 carbs. Um, but it's allulose. Oh. It's allulose. Okay. So, I, I mean, it, it's made with 10 eggs. 
Now, here's what we did. We just went and bought the cheapest eggs. We can't use the back, the girls' chick eggs in the back. They don't peel well. Then four minutes. Aldi, 98 cents a dozen. Yeah, four minutes in the pressure cooker, four minutes slow release, throw them in the ice water. Perfect. Put them on the counter, give it a little rub. The shell came right off, and then two of them didn't peel quite right. They went to the dog and the chickens. They weren't upset they about loved that, though, it. I'm sure. This is good. I could definitely see eating this constantly this is delicious so let's take a look back at our day mm -hmm. what what was the the total carb count because i feel like we I had some know. very luxurious food today we so, had the french toast mm -hmm. and then we had the chicken thanks to zoe which so, was amazing it was by the really way. good the link for that recipe on our website is down below okay so if you go by the fact that chronometer was saying there was carbs in the eggs in the in the in that breakfast so i don't know if it's in the egg white powder which is just powdered egg whites there's nothing else in it or the eggs doesn't matter if i remember right it said that was seven carbs was it not something like that yeah so you had seven carbs plus the little bit that we had in that syrup it was a couple more carbs let let's let's even go total carbs you want to count the allulose that let's was do in it. there so that would make it 20 total carbs. The chicken with the bacon was, I think, four total carbs. So 24. So 24. And again, I don't remember this one off the top of my head. I want to say it's like 10 or 12 carbs, but again, it's pretty much So now all we're in allulose. the 34 total carb. If that if we're really blowing it and out that's of water. Counting the eggs, which a lot of people don't do. And counting allulose. And counting allulose. So wow, right, I'm, right there. I'm pretty happy. And again, we're not calorie counters, but uh, with this, I think we're still under 2,000 calories. So if you are a calorie counter, because the the chicken breast was like under a thousand, and then we I didn't even eat a half of the egg loaf or whatever you want to call it, the French toast. I didn't even eat half. But I, half of it was just under 500 calories, and this is like three something. I ate it all, but it was tough. Mm -hmm. Like it definitely got me through there's the no entire way. day. There's no way you could eat a whole loaf. Oh, there's food. no way I could eat a whole loaf. Right. No way. No way. Zero Are we going to be incorporating that French toast once in a while? I think we should because it's nice to make a big mess of it. I don't even think that like the kids would have a problem with it. We would so have a problem with this. Well, so if you're doing brunch and you're doing it for the whole family, you could make brunch and everybody eat the same thing. Cause you're like mm -hmm. eggs and bacon and make some French toast, make our keto chow pancakes. Yep. I mean, breakfast is served. Okay. This is delicious. This is amazing. I could definitely see us making this a lot. Mm -hmm. it's, is it a little time consuming? Cause you have to hard boil eggs and stuff. Yeah. It is worth it. But it is delicious. I feel like this, it, you need to eat it in a fancy glass. You know, treat yourself oh, to that. I feel like, yeah, I feel like I'm having a fancy dessert. This feels like you're, you know, you've gone to a fancy restaurant and you're like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and take the waiter's advice and get the dessert. Okay, so here's the good news. Okay. Reading Maria's recipe, she said, she calls for a half a cup of swerve. I used allulose, but she says, or liquid alternative to okay. adjust to your sweetness. So here's what I say. I say we go get more eggs tomorrow. Right. And we try this again with liquid succulorus. Okay. Which is zero total carbs. I like or maybe, that. Or maybe even do a batch like where you cut the swerve or allulose in half. And see if you can And still... then up the sweetness a little bit with liquid succulorus or liquid stevia. I know some people have an issue with succulorus. We don't. I will leave a link down below for a great article from Keto Chow that really discusses why sucralose is not as bad for your butt gut, uh, but it's not for as your bad for gut your butt. biome uh, as people say it is. And remember, sucralose is not Splenda. Right. Okay. Splenda is not sucralose. Splenda uses sucralose, but then in the powdered form, they also have like dextrose maltodextrin. Splenda, bad. Liquid sucralose fine because it doesn't have all of that stuff good to know okay i have two things okay. number one we're just about finished with our book i know some people know that we read a chapter of a book or a piece of a chapter of a book every morning mm -hmm. i just want to say i meant to mention this earlier i am so glad we're done with that last chapter are you why because 
It was pushing I, your buttons. I didn't like hearing it. We're, we're currently rereading Battlefield of the Mind from Joyce Meyer. And she gets us. And the entire chapter was about jealousy and like, you know, looking at people and not being upset with people because they're doing better than you. Stay in your own and, lane. And I was literally reading that going, shut up, Joyce. I know, right? Because <laughs> it's like, especially. Because it's something I battle with. Especially on your keto journey, you may see people that are like just rocking it. And right. they're having a great, you know, great day, yeah. great week. You want to celebrate them. You may even heart their picture, right. you know, or say like, great job, congratulations. But inside you're dying a little because you're like, I want oh to gosh. be where they're at. Mm -hmm. I'm totally guilty of seeing people having success eating the dirtiest keto possible. Eating maltitol and the low carb breads that have wheat in it and then losing weight and me going... This isn't fair, right? And so, like, yeah. Stay that, in that, your lane. That chapter was, was a hurdy, but I needed it. Don't right? worry about other people's keto. Joe Keto. Yeah, Joe focus Keto. On We're going to focus on Joe Keto. And Rachel Keto. Okay, so last thing. Before we sign off for this video, oh, let us know down in the comment section. Do you guys like these vlogs? This one was kind of weird. It was mostly us sitting at the table. but you We're got all to see, over the place. Hey, we ate three times today. Yeah. We ate some delicious food. We didn't eat a sub. We didn't eat just ground beef. Like this was different. No buffalo wild wings. No buffalo wild wings. We can do stuff. Right before I turn the camera on, I got an email back from this company. We're gonna get some of these with the two crazy ketos label on them. Nice. I'm curious because like what sizes should we get? Oh, I'm a available? 32 ounce one. Okay. So I'm, I want to know from you guys, would you rather see 24 ounce or 32 ounce? Because listen, we got to lay all the money out. So I really can't afford to do both. I lean towards 32 ounce because like, you know, you drink one of these and I feel like I'm good. And if you're taking this on the road for me, I want to make sure it's going to last me on the road yeah, and not be like a little office. 16 ounce bottle and now what do I do? But everybody else may feel completely yeah, different. Yeah. So let us know down in the comment section. <laughs> I want more of this. I do too. I like want a double serving. This is so good. Okay, that's gonna be today's full day of eating vlog. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we try something delicious, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.